Hi Parkside, welcome to this week's encouragement video. Thanks for tuning in. You know, last night it was a heavy, heavy rain here in Brownsburg and it was great. I love to see this morning how the grass is already greening up a little bit from it. And you know, I was walking around the yard last night and you could just see it was, the ground was hard, there were cracks in it. And it was like the, gr the ground was just crying out for rain, like, please give me some rain. It's so dry here been such a drought. I know if you're in agriculture, it's been, uh, you're just crying out for rain, longing for rain, like, please, can we have some rain here? And uh, praise the Lord, it came. But uh, I want to take that kind of picture there of waiting for rain and turn it and think about Isaiah chapter 30, verse 18. Isaiah 30, 18 in the, in the NIV says that God longs to show grace to us. He loves to pour out his grace on us. And similar to how we are longing for the rain, the earth was longing for the rain. If you're in ag, you were longing for the rain. Like, please rain, come. I can't wait for it to come. That's how God is when it comes to showing grace to you. He loves to show grace. He's longing to show grace. He's looking for every opportunity to show grace. And I think sometimes in our uh, finite human minds, we start to think that maybe we, we anger God, we tick him off. He's frustrated with us. He's rolling his eyes at us. And he's like, oh man, do I, I guess I have to show grace today. And friend, that is not how God sees you. He is longing to show you grace, looking for every opportunity to, excited to show you grace. And so this morning, this afternoon, whenever you're watching this, I hope you are encouraged by knowing that God is longing to show you grace. You may see it clearly, you may not see it clearly, but you can know for sure that as the ground was ready to receive that rain, so God is ready to show you grace. He doesn't wait for you to get your life totally in order. No, Romans 5, 8, while we are still sinners, Christ demonstrated his love for us. Yeah, that's great news. He longs to show grace in that way. Parkside, let me tell you about two things this Sunday I'm excited for. Number one, we are kicking off a new sermon series, jumping back into the book of Genesis. So we ch covered chapters 1 through 11 in the spring. We were in the parables of Jesus in the summer, and we're back in Genesis this Sunday. Pastor Casey will be kicking off the sermon series uh, from one of the most glorious and significant Old Testament passages. There is Genesis 12, where we see the blessing given to Abraham, uh, God pouring out his grace on him. So you will want to be here this Sunday. If you're reading ahead, uh, start in 11 verse 26, read through 12, 9, uh, and read over that. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I look forward to hearing God's word preach and for Pastor Casey to kick off that series. Uh, secondly, Sunday night, we're going to have a worship night in the park. Hope you'll make plans to come back and join for that. Uh, those are such a great time. It's kind of the summer has wrapped up. We're getting ready to go back to school and just to come back together with our church family to be in nature and sing praises to God. That's this Sunday night. Uh, that'll be a family-friendly event. Your kids can stay and sing. They can play over at the playground. Lots of fun for everybody. Look forward to uh, being back together as a church family this Sunday morning in Genesis 12. Sunday night for the worship in the park. Parkside, I love you. Hope you have a great week and look forward to seeing you Sunday. Thanks.